Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of the Polish Emperor Co-op series. Damn, we have, to really, we have to really shorten that. Co-emperor. What? Co-emperor. It, it doesn't give the whole Polish theme to it though. It doesn't really. We have to think of a better... What were the Wendish Empire Emperors? The Wendish? The Wendish. The Wendish Empire. Are it's we... A, it's, it's a CK2 reference where like because to form from the empire that used to be like in this region was the Wendish Empire. Ah. We could call ourselves the Wendish Empire Emperors. Hmm. So we're the, we're the we. We're, we are the we. We are the we. Or we could just, you know, be co-emperors. I mean... That too. We'll, we'll, we'll decide this eventually. So anyways, guys, <laughs> welcome back to the series where we are starting today. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. So we're basically in a war where where Dom is getting... Is Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. He's oh no. He's having troops attack him. And over here in my land, I'm just kind of chilling out because nothing... Oh my goodness, bad things are happening. They caught me. Oh. Well, my army's still alive. I lost. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, my army's still alive and it's staging up what it needs to do. Yeah. So. That it is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. I don't even need to do anything. How do you do that? Oh, uh, they're gonna stack wipe me. No. Austria, it's help. It's alright. It's alright. Look how many armies are around you helping you. Mm. I mean... If you die from this, I'd be insanely shocked. You have 30, you have 14 Austrians and a ton of different men. You'll be fine. Oh. I'm just watching. <laughs> Stop. Why do you do this? <sighs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's a nice little jump. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, we Ooh, got some. We got a cardinal. You're welcome. Yeah, you can you can deal with the papal see if you want to. I'm not really gonna deal with that. That mini game. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> and as we all can see, we're crushing. Now we're starting to crush all the armies of everyone next to us. Mhm. Mm it's really not a competition anymore. I'm gonna try and go up to the war goal. Um. Start getting that ticking war yeah, sport. You, yeah, you do that. I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah, I will do that. I'm kind of, like I said, I don't really care about you northerners. I'm over here in the south. I'm Focusing on your uh, mm. Hungarian provinces. Yes, I'm sieging up the Hungarian provinces, and it's getting us some good stuff, I think. Yeah. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. I am into yes. that sort of thing. That increases my, let's see, if I was to add all three of these provinces, that, increase, that increases my realm to, like, almost double yours. Oh, well, you know, fine. That's you know. gonna be awesome. What if I took like all of the Teutonic Order in one go? Uh, do you really want the aggressive <laughs> AE? Over expansion! <laughs> I mean, if you really want the aggressive AE, you could do that. Yeah, let's piss off the HRE while we're at it. Ah, no. Damn. Ah, uh, Aragon and Naples. Well, actually, actually, it's Hungary. Only... Yeah, no. it works. We'll no. have to fight the Pope, but. Eh. Nothing we aren't already in, really. Yeah. That only means that Austria might peace out a little bit earlier than what we thought. Mm-hmm. Which is going to be bad. And also, I'm all by my lonesome up here. Mm. What happened? Guys. Build up your army, dude. I... That's... <laughs> Build up your oh, army, okay? Well, it's kind of hard when they're just marching through and eating our corn. Do we grow out here? Definitely not corn. What, wait, what do we grow out here, actually? Like potato? No, no, that's another uh, New World crop. Um, we we apparently produce silk or cloth and grain. We don't. And okay, I we can own, eat grain. And I own the grain, so technically I'm the food provider. You're the breadwinner in this relationship. Yep. Fair enough. Like, that kind of got awkward there. Just yeah, well. Just saying. Okay, okay, it seems like Austria got itself under control. It seems like it's marching and destroying everything. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Ah, you just need to build up your army, then go attack the Livonian Order. Oh, you have, like, a 20 stack coming to help you, so... Oh, fair nice. No, stop. Why? Stop this. Go They're... help him. I... Go help him. You have to stall him, because then you'll have... You have a 7 stack coming to help you. See? Okay. 
I get scared easily. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here. I'm here. I would say hold me, but I think I've used up my uh, gay innuendo of the evening. Yes, you have. Okay, so what I'm planning on getting out of Hungary is I'm planning on getting um, Zempen. Zempen, Zempen. and um, Molagos. Mogos. Fair enough. Yeah. So that we have a little bit more of a boarded south southern down here. That that that'll look nice. Yeah. I want you can take as much as you want from northern up there. Oh okay. shoot. Hmm. We don't want we don't want Austria to seize up Danzig. Uh no, that would be upsetting. I don't think they can though, but they're just holding it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a placeholder. You could kind of, I think you can now kind of spread out. Yeah, I was about to say, you could kind of spread out now. Oh, Not shoot, somebody quite. just fought me. Somebody just fought me. Oh, shoot. Wasn't paying attention. Was paying attention to your armies. Oh, I hate you, Hungry. You guys are actually fighting me. Okay. Yeah, they're going to take Danzig from it. Okay. Let's see. Ah. We have troops in foreign territory. What'd you do? Uh, lost a battle. Mm. Didn't expect the Hungarians to be as aggressive as they were. Well, at least we aren't doing with a, an Austro-Hungarian empire. Mm-hmm. That would be disconcerting. That would be very disconcerting. By the way, you wanna, you wanna, um, you wanna, um, royal marriage Burgundy so we can kind of maybe get the Burgundy in inheritance. Ooh, that'd be nice. It's just an idea. But that would be kind of like out there. It's out there and probably not gonna happen. But it's an idea. It's an idea. Those rebels. Oh no. Sweden apparently tried to fight the law, and the, the law won. Oh no, Roy really pe peasants. Uh, yeah, we'll get into war exhaustion. Why, why do you do these things to me? It was either that or lose five army tradition. Mmm. Alright. I accept. There wasn't really much I could really do that becoming good out of that. So I just decided to take the least negative thing. At least it's not an open. Hmm, do I take the stability drop or take the stability drop? Okay, let's see. And why did the why did the Austrians have to take Danzig? Let's... Uh, they don't like us having good things. Yeah. All right. Let's... I'm really just kind of watching out for these armies. Okay, so let's scary. see. Um, Teutonic Order. Oh my goodness, Teutonic Order would be ecstatic to give up Hungarian lands for really? peace deal. Yes. Okay, um, I can peace but out- Wait, 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 wait till I see his- Oh, no, no, I'm piecing out Hungry. Oh, okay. I'm piecing out Hungry, getting as much as I can get out of gold. Okay. That also makes it so that we don't have to deal with any of the, uh, Aragonian armies, because they can't get over here. Ah, that's nice. Okay, so that <laughs> they don't have access. Um, I want you to end your relationships- Oh, wait. That's okay. kind of useless, though, asking for that. There we because go. Because by the time the next war rolls around, they can already get their uh, alliances back. There we go, and you're going to start calling that stuff immediately. Harsh treatment, because nice. this is technically my land. Oh, got to be mean. Yes, we do. Useless. We have to be very mean to these people. Okay. Got to assert dominance. Yes, we do. All right, and how are you doing up north? Pretty good. Uh, we might be able to take some territories. If they take Danzig, well, we just won't give it to them in the peace deal. Yeah. Um, and in terms of Austrian-Hungarian, wait, what are we even fighting in this, um, Aragonian war? Oh, we have to take Corsica. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. They have literally more ships than we do. Bavaria wants to peace oh, out. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Dominic, I want you to hear this event, okay? Okay. Dominic Dravensky Controversial oh. Protectorate. Oh. Since Dominic Dravensky started providing advice for the trading developments in Poland, international internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased state regulation. While his decisions mm. to improve infrastructure have been appreciated, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question his philosophy. They argue that the king is t taking his advice too readily and that we should look for mutually beneficial deals with other nations rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. They're on to me. So, Dominic Dravinsky thinking has helped us so far, we gain two mercantilism and lose five prestige, or a trade to facilitate free trade not restricted. The trade Dominic Dravinsky leaves your court. Ooh. Oh, 
I could I could make you leave, Dominic. No, no, mm -hmm. not me, Dominic. Uh, Arcus Wise, uh, yeah, is yes, our but this is kind of like pseudo you. Pseudo me. This is like pseudo you, so I can make you leave. Oh, uh, don't do that. Uh, but just just take the prestige hit. It's fine. We gain mercantilism, which I'm not sure what it does. Uh, mercantilism helps you with better like trade trade node steering and like better money overall. Oh, see, Mer that's good. We should have that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that decision because I don't really want to execute. Exile you. Oh, Bavaria is not out. Is now out. Yeah, they sent me a piece still. I looked it over. Yeah, it was fine. They sent me a piece still too. And I was like, eh, maybe, maybe not. I don't really care. Mm. Yeah. And I'm let's playing see. It cool. Yeah, I'm playing it cool right down here. I'm just kind of keeping my land over here occupied, siege, whatever you want to call it. And there's, I just added more Orthodox to our country, by the way. Nice. Thanks for that. It's not necessarily my fault, it's just... Uh, you're, that's You're just, letting them in. Yeah. Let's just say that. We're, we're, we're having an open-door policy right now. Whatever happened to asserting dominance? Well... You, you assert dominance in different ways. I don't know. And they just took Danzig. Yeah. Oh, we might get Ossipusen in this. Ossipusen? Yeah. Oh, Lithuania's doing it, so yeah, I think that gets ceded to us. It does. So then we could, let's see, you get to negotiate the Teutonic Order because I'm not really caring about the Northerners. Yeah, I'm going to take them for all they got. And are you sure you want the aggressive expansion? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to like full annex them, but I'm going to bring them up to 100 war score. Okay. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm just going to chill. Like I said, I'm just going to chill down here in the south with my army. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to build two more units. I feel weak right now. It's because you are. Uh, you're building up your armies too? Yeah. And oh. now we're losing. That's actually a lot of money we're losing. Um. Oh, wow. Maintenance is probably going to have to go down after this war. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. <sighs> that's, that's what I said. I know. I'm copying everything you say. Please don't. It upsets me. Please don't. It upsets me. You're gonna you're gonna drive me mad now. Why do you do these you're, things? You're gonna drive me mad now. Why do you do these things? Ugh. Why? why? Just oh, why? Why? Just why? Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, okay. so <laughs> thank you. So let's just see this going on. Um. Yeah, we could probably get the. Do we? I don't think we really want anything out of Livonian order unless we could like maybe. What could we even do to these guys? A Polish actually. You know. I kind of forgot they were part of this war. Hey, dude, let's hmm. make Livonia a vassal of us. Ooh, can we? We could. We just have to take him to full 100%. So we'll, how will we do this? We'll individually piece out Livonian order and make them a vassal of us. That way, then we have basically, think about it. We have the Baltic Sea basically underneath our control. We have Lithuania, and then we'll have as much land as you took from the Teutonic Order. Mm -hmm. Think about the power we have right now, and think about the diplomatic influence. I'm, I'm liking it. Then we can start wrestling away trade uh, in the Baltic from the the Swedes. Are the Swedes right now in control of the Baltics? I would assume so. Actually, wait, that makes no sense. Austria is apparently leading. Oh, it's because of Danzig. Oh. Uh... Okay, I was about to say like, wait, why is Austria all the way up in the Baltic? No, that doesn't make any sense. But then I was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, they have Danzig right now, and Danzig gives you a ton of trade power. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Hansa, the Lumbeck node is controlled by the Hansa, of course. Uh, oh. Krik the Krakow node is basically controlled by us because Lithuania is our vassal. Mm -hmm. And then we have to start worrying about the Crimean node. Because hmm. that's also feeding into our nodes. That's mainly controlled by Aragon. What the heck? D d sh 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 it's fine. What? Wait, but Aragon's not even. Oh, they're sieging up Genoa. That's why. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, Where did uh, these Europeans come from? <laughs> I, I know we Europeans ourselves too, Dom. But seriously, like, hey, hey, no, that's my, <laughs> that's my soldier. That's my soldier. <laughs> I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> yeah, that's my soldier, dude. Oh, by the way, keep managing our cardinals. 
Uh, we don't. Oh, well. Let's, let's steal from the Hansa. You could just, by the way, you, you do realize you could just... Okay, good. Yeah. You do know how to do this game. Yes. The main... I've, I've played as many a Catholic nation. Um, as many a Catholic nation. Uh, yeah. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling right over here, down here, just making sure we don't have revolts. That's pretty nice. I know it is. Weird how Riga's staying out of this. Oh, we're gonna conquer Riga eventually, so it doesn't even really matter. Riga kind of annoys me, because it's just there. Like I said, we'll we'll conquer it eventually. In fact, we could probably Diplo Annex him if we really wanted to. Yeah, we could. We just need to get him up to 100% relations. Hmm. You know, I actually might start working on that. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, let's let's just let's just Diplo Annex these guys. We don't, we and don't uh, I'm working on getting uh, these these people, Mazovia, under our wing, so we can move our capital to Warsaw. Let's see. When can we annex them? We can annex them. Oh, it's like a tick. Oh wow, we just need to get a 190 relationship, then I should really be working well, on- Well, we should keep going until the war's over, then do it. Of course, why would we annex them right now? It's a stupid um, idea. Because oh, you- by the way, we're gonna- we are going to be losing some admin power. Because I didn't want to lose the prestige, especially since we're Poland, <laughs> and we can lose prestige really quickly. Okay? Why? Because we're the Polish, and we lose prestige insanely quickly. What are you doing, Lithuania? You just left us Pustin? <laughs> to the Austrians? Make sure they didn't get it, don't worry. They didn't get it. Okay, go send your 6k to go to Austin Pustin and have you have a good old fashioned sieging time. Uh, well, our vassal go siege up the rest of Livonian order so that we can uh, have our uh, good times with them. Yes. <laughs> uh, and you I used up your gay and you end up for the part. Uh, thank you, Dominic. I wasn't thinking that way, but still, we'll go with that. I'm on that. You're welcome. Okay. Walking. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And right now, by the way, do you want me to control control the overall trade screen? Yes, please. Okay. I'll control the overall trade screen. Um. Let's see. Okay. So you control government. I technically control democracy, but we kind of both co-head that. Mm -hmm. We kind of both co-ed economy. I control trade, but you control one of the merchants, so I can't. Wow, this is a really complex system we just devised. Let's. It's it's fine. <laughs> uh, hey, um, do you. I... I'll I'll be I'll be in charge of uh, the military, like just that tab. Okay. And its doings. Okay, then I won't make another general in my life. Yep, I'll just fire your general. You can't get one now. Ah. Uh... Okay. Make every king a general. Yes. Don't, don't, no, don't do that. We don't have a powerful enough king. We have no legal heir. Oh, well, yeah, we do. He's like one years old, but he's legal. No, we have no legal heir. Uh, that's Denmark. Why was I looking at Denmark? Yeah, we have no legal heir. Look at that's... our country. We have no legal heir. It's... It's fine. We are in a very bad position to do those kind of things, Dominic. Nah, it's, I, I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Hey, I'll manage the ideas group. You can manage the tech group. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know. That seems like a fair trade, don't you think? Yeah, but, like, what if you choose, like, really bad ideas? Well, then it's my ideas. Like, I uh... Choose, I get to choose what our country is going to be shaped out to be. Oh, we can't be plutocratic. Plutocratic is so good. Personally, I'm more of an aristocratic guy. Yeah, but you would be, being a South Polak. Okay. Yeah. Oh, first loan. Woot. <laughs> I know that too. I was like, oh. It's beginning. It's beginning. And we're in a stupid war with Aragon right now where I'm just waiting for him to peace out already. We're still at war with him? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Because of Corsica. Because we can't get Corsica. Where's Corsica? It's that little island off of um, Sardinia. It's right off the coast of Romania. Oh. Well then. Okay. Mm. We have to be in this war for no apparent reason. No, 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 it's fine. I know, I know, I know it's fine, but it's still kind of annoying. It's not gonna deny. And we're gonna soon get. Wait. No. No. What? Where'd you take? Oh. Wait. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Wait. Thanks. No, that's that's fine. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Let's I was, go to I was, Danzig. I was about to say. Yeah. Let's go see Danzig. Okay. No, I'm, I'm hungry. 
Yay! Whoa, we got an air. Yay! Like, a, a really stacked air. Yes, and with that good news, everyone, it is time to end today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, um, and if you want to continue watching this series, don't forget to show your support by commenting, rating, and subscribing. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Dominic, will you say bye this uh, time? I, I will say bye this time. If you liked my part of the version, which is almost the same as his, except more northern based <laughs> then feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, blank in the annotation, above or below or to the side or in your face. I don't know. All right. All right. Goodbye. See you guys.